Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, Chillax, welcome back to more hey, Stay Night. We'll to Nua Unlimited Blade Works. Last time we left off, having um, been betrayed by Oro. Rin was betrayed by Archer. And they kind of, sort of, or I should say, Rin and Shiro kind of, sort of, um, confessed their, well, sort of confessed their feelings for each other, kind of, a little bit. Um, and yeah, now we are, um, on to the 13th day, I think. Yeah, we're not, apparently going to an intermission <laughs> of Princess Medea. Yeah, verse Berserker. Uh, interlude 13-1. She's alone with her thoughts in the darkness. <clears throat> it has been a day since she attacked the church and killed the priest. It's been a day since she declared that she can find it. No matter where it may be hidden, if it exists, it may not be the case for other servants. But there is no way someone versed in magic like her would not be able to find a relic as holy as the Holy Grail. <clears throat> and there is only one answer. The Holy Grail was never hidden in this, ch in this church to begin with. <sighs> she sighs and puts her fingers on her temple. When she closes her eyes, heavy darkness assails her body. Sorry, I just randomly, like, my throat got, like, really scratchy, and I had to, to cough. Ah, no. It is just a scream. It's not coming from outside. The scream comes from her body and mind, telling her that her fatigue is at the limit. It has been a month since, since she was summoned. Since then, she's done her best to win. Her master is an ordinary person without a magic circuit. And she is the weakest of the servants. To make up for that, she abused forbidden magic. Collection from the people. The magical string she placed throughout the town and the control of the ley line using sacrifices. These are all reasons why she was called a witch during her life. But she has never used them before. <clears throat> she should have never used them. And she did not intend to do the, for uh, the forbidden. So... Why did she end up using them for a meaningless conflict like this? Uh, I don't know. She became a heroic spirit to take revenge. But she also knows it is meaningless to use the skills that labeled her a witch. She only uses trivial magic. <clears throat> she only uh, created disasters that caused people to destroy themselves uh, with their own greed. That was all the revenge she could manage. So what caused her to stray from her path so much? <clears throat> I mean, yeah, I, I can't really fault you there, to be honest. That's a lie. She knows the true identity of the Holy Grail. Does she now? She already knows what that, th uh, what that thing is, and why servants like her are summoned. It's true that most wishes can't, uh, can be granted using the Holy Grail that appears in this town. <clears throat> it will allow her to stay in this world of physical form, and it will, allow her, it, will, it will allow her to start a second life as a human. So, from what I can tell, she's like one of the only ones that wanted to be a human again. Like Lancer didn't give a shit as far as I <laughs> as far as I could tell. Saber wanted to use it to fix Britain back in her time or something 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 like that. Or oh no, she wanted to change it so she never became king. Cause she thought it would be better that way. Or something like that. I don't know. Like Berserker, I don't know. I don't know what Berserker's <clears throat> thing was. I mean in the end I think it was just protecting Ilya. But, <sighs> yeah, but, I 
<sighs> Saying so, she closes her eyes. She empties her mind. For now, she lets her guard down and rests her mind. She hears the sound of rain. It was a night without moonlight. The surroundings were pitch black, and she wandered with, wandered with an empty mind. That is where she met him. With blood-stained body and frozen limbs. A chance to meeting that was more miraculous than any miracle. Ah, it was the mountain where the Ryudo Temple is located. Falling rain. She was stumbling aimlessly through the dense forest. <laughs> she left behind a trail of blood. In her hand was a dagger that breaks all contracts. Her purple robe was wet with rain, and her limbs had turned white from the winter cold. <laughs> staggered around, holding onto the trees for support. She walked on, dirtied with mud, her breath ragged, reaching out her hand as if begging for help. Hmm. She did not look like her usual self, filled with cool composure. No, not even the amount of magical, <laughs> of magical energy was unlike her. She was exhausted. She only had a handful of power left. For a servant, magical energy is like a lifeline that allows him to stay in this world. But that was all lost. No magical energy coming from, was coming from her master. But that was only natural. She had just killed her own master. That was the cause of her exhaustion. She... Servant Castor was about to disappear alone as compensation for obtaining freedom. <sighs> yeah, a dry laugh. It's funny that her body was not able to maintain itself, and that she betrayed her vulgar master. Yeah, someone told me it doesn't get shown in the VN, so obviously I'm just referencing the anime here. But he was a, uh, a piece of shit. <laughs> He was not a good person. Like he was, he was what take? What, what what was it again? He was like taking orphans and like, like siphoning magical. Like it, it was some messed up shit. Um, yeah. <laughs> Moreover, it's quite amusing to see how badly she had underestimated the relationship between master, uh, servant and master. She had done well. Her master was a legitimate magus. He was in his thirties, had a medium build, and had few noteworthy characteristics. He had no will to fight, but dreamed of victory. He was a man that only waited for the other masters to kill each other. The man had not trusted Castor. He treated Castor coldly as she was a superior magus, and he insulted her for being inferior to other servants. She gave up on him after a few days. She acted as an obedient servant and filled the man's conceit. In short, she made him use his command spells for meaningless things. She told him he did not need the command spells. She made him believe that she would be faithful to her master even without the command spell. Yeah, and how'd that work out for him, huh? It was his fault for believing in her. Wait, but you said he didn't trust you. But now you say he believed in you? Okay. Well, the master used his third command spell for a meaningless thing, and was killed by Castor at that moment. It was easy. She didn't like the did not like the fact that the contract with him still existed, so she killed him using the rule breaker. <laughs> but she had made a mistake. Servants exist using the supply of magical energy provided by their master. But not just magical energy. Servants are only allowed to exist in this age by being connected with people of this age. In other words, to lose one's master, the passport to this age, 
means being forced to return to the outside world. But she would not normally be this exhausted. This was the curse her master had left her. Her master didn't, did not approve of her, as she was a better magus than he was. Therefore, he limited her, her magical energy to be always below his level. Then how would how would you? Because in the end, that would because he only he waited it out for the other masters to kill each other. But how would, how do you plan on killing the last one if he made Caster weak? The magical energy level of a mere human cannot keep a servant in this world. She would normally be able to stay in this world for two days after losing her master. Wait, but that's how long Archer would be able to stay. Also, don't we know her true name at this point? Why is it not showing up? Uh, allows the creation of tools to carry magical energy, even allows the creation of a mortality serum. But the result is only an imitation. What does that mean? Like, it wouldn't mention that for no... Okay, I don't know. But now is different. Still kind of weird how she can... I guess because of how much magical energy she could hold? If she was actually given a proper amount? But the fact that she could stay as long as Archer, who has... You know, the, you know that, that ability. Kind of odd. Her magical energy was drastically decreasing with every second. And the end was near. Probably a few more minutes. She would disappear if she could not find her next master in that time. She would disappear before she could fight, unable to do anything. She would be a pitiful servant, summoned only to be trampled upon. Uh, I kind of feel for Caster a little bit, but she's also kind of fucked up. It was vexing. It was vexing. But it wasn't anything out of the ordinary. It had always been like this for her. She was treated uh, treated unreasonably like this all the time. She was always used as a tool, and she was never understood by anyone. Yes. Her life was always controlled by someone else. Her mind was destroyed at a young age to save a hero chosen by the gods. Just for the sake of a hero, the goddess of beauty happened to favor. The goddess cursed her to blindly love a man she had never seen. The girl betrayed her father. And she was even forced to betray her own country. There is no memory after that. After everything was over, the girl, who was a princess, was in an unfamiliar country. A girl that betrayed her father, the king, for a man. A witch that cut apart her own brother and threw the pieces into the sea to escape her native country. And the, and the man who wanted it done cast her aside in order to become king, saying he could not marry a witch. She was controlled and taken to an unknown country, was marked as a witch and the only person she could rely on threw her away. That is her origin. There is nothing people can blame her for. And people around her were aware of that. But still, people continued to demand for her to be a witch. An evil to protect the king. An evil to be on the receiving end of evil superstitions. People wanted a convenient scapegoat that, 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 they, uh, that they could blame for any disaster. This pattern has never changed. People demand easily understandable evil to reassure themselves of their own goodness. In that regard, she was the perfect sacrifice. The father she could rely on was in a distant country. Nobody defended her, and people gladly blamed her for all the ugly things in their world. They decided that every ugliness was the witch's doing. That they are poor, that they hate others, that humans are ugly, 
and even let people die. <sighs> but people <laughs> died like what? Okay, whatever. Uh, okay. Uh, so she merely accepted it. Why? Why is her story so so similar to Ryder and Avengers? Like, don't tell me she could have been an Avenger too. <laughs> Since she could only live as a witch, she decided to live like a witch. She swore to show them the ugliness of the wishes they demanded of her. If people do not know their ugliness, so be it. They can stay ignorant, go to hell for their own crimes, and suffer forever. They won't be able to get out of hell. They'll suffer forever as criminals because they do not know what crimes they have committed. That is the reason for existence she imposed upon herself. That is the only role people gave to the girl, to the one called the witch who never had a free will. <laughs> but, nobody actually wished, uh, wished for such a thing. The same goes for her as well. She seeks revenge against her will without having any wish for herself. Yes. Until she met up with this stranger. A rustling sound. She peered ahead even though she was barely able to stand. It's midnight. Who could possibly come to this forest at this time? It was a heavy voice. She didn't have the composure to check who it was. She just thought it was all over. She had no power to use magic. Her purple robe might have looked like a coat, but she was covered in blood. A woman covered in blood was hiding in the rain. It's obvious what such a person did. Anyone would run away first. What would they do after that? They would either call the police or pretend they hadn't seen it. It didn't matter to her as she could no longer move. That caused the last of her spirit to give out. Her last moment was cold and lonely, just as it was at the end of her true lifetime. Or so she thought. When she regained consciousness, she was in that place. In front of her is that man. The man who she met in the woods. Okitaka. Oh, Kuzuki. Those were his first words. When she watched the man with blank amazement. The tone of his voice never changed. That was her first encounter with her master, Kuzuki Suichiro. Kuzuki was a strange man. Should he be called a ghost? He had no reason to live, but he had no reason to die. He was just there, and since he existed, he followed whatever whim took him. He has no self. That was the first impression of him, and she thought it would be easy to turn him into a puppet. <laughs> uh, she grew to realize that the thought was a mistake. Kusuki Suichiro does not have a past. He has no self because he has no past. But it does not mean Kusuki Suichiro is empty. Kusuki was a sincere man. He easily accepted her when she told him that she wanted to be her mas that she wanted him to be her master. And when she told him about her true identity. <laughs> yeah, I mean he, he kinda grew up. Again, because you know some HA. He he grew up not, you know. Only know how to fight, and that was that was about it. Like, you know, <laughs> so you know, who who is he to like deny what you do, what, what what you tell him? You know. He accepted it after she told him it was the truth. She obtained a new master was able to stay in this world and return to her role of being a witch. She still considers it to be a miracle. 
She would have disappeared before she woke up if she wasn't taken to the Ryudo Temple. The Ryudo Temple is a, is a demonic place for servants, but it is a perfect summoning place once, it's, uh, once inside. As the Ryudo Temple is surrounded by a boundary field, it is suited for keeping... It is suited for keeping anything inhuman. She was able to remain without disappearing because she, because she was brought to the Ryudo Temple. Had it been any place else, she would have vanished after being taken there. As a result, she obtained the best ley line and the best protection. She easily occupied the Ryuta Temple, figured out the mechanism of the Holy Grail, and summoned Assassin as the fifth servant. But such things are trivial matters. She was certainly lucky on that night. Many miracles saved her, and she's now on the verge of victory. But they don't deserve thanks. She would have been fine with it even if those miracles had not occurred. There's only one important fact. A very small matter that is trivial for anyone else. For her, the fact that she was able to meet Kuzuki Suichiro is a miracle beyond belief. Mm. But it's not going well. Yeah. No. She feels that everything she does is not going well. Her master will not be delighted with, uh, with what she did. He has never had an interest in the Holy Grail. She would do her best to, uh, to grant any wish of his, but Kuzuki Suichiro is none. A one-sided relationship. Ah, uh, yeah. They do not get along well. It's not going well at all. Mira Tori ga Mira ni natta ka. Kidai no majo toyu no mo, angai moroi mono da na. She turns to the intruder. It is not her master that is standing there. It is the knight in red, Archer, with his true identity still unknown. Archer. あなたには外の見張りを任せたはずですが。ああ。ああ。それがな、ざっと見たところ、周囲に敵という敵がいない。Even <笑> わたしたちの敵はバーサーカーだけよ。それもセイバーさえ陥落すれば、こちらから撃って出るだけ。あなたが私たちに願えた時点で、もう敵なんていないのよ。うーん。あなたもそれが分かっていたからこそ、こちら
that regard, she and Ryder are not heroic spirits. A twisted master calls for twisted heroic spirits. As Ryder was one that was beautiful, she was also one that was pure. It's ironic how the servant casters how the servant caster summon is a fictional hero. Which to be fair a lot of the a lot of the um servants I've I've heard exist in fate. There is some contention as to whether they exist or not, so it's like or existed. I should say. So you know it's しかし、考えてみれば<笑> エレとしての側面もあるものなんて混ざり物は選ばれない。この戦いがおかしくなったのは3度目からよ。それまでは私やライダーのような英霊は呼ばれなかった。ああ。That's she isn't concerned about the, about the true identity of the Holy Grail. Servant Caster's mission is to win this war. She's not interested in what comes after. No. I would love to see a show about, like, the first couple wars. Because all, like, actual, like, heroic heroic spirits... Like, I don't know, I, I don't know. Just the idea is interesting to me, I don't know. No. To be honest, that's not the end she, uh, she wishes for. Okay, Okay, lady. Diokaishita. Dewa. Jujun no servant to Rashku. Arjun no kitani kotair to shio. The knight in red goes up the stairs. Hmm. Seeing him off silently, Castro lets out a long sigh. One more day until Saber surrenders. She doesn't have the Holy Grail yet. But she will approach the end once Saber falls. What will happen when the war ends? Castro will make every wish come true with her powers. It is not bad to live like a to live as a witch, like she swore before dying. But the reason will go away once the war ends. Even if she stalls the will, her master will lose the reason to stay as her master. <laughs> She will grant every wish. Ooh. Oh, right, the wishes that. Oh, 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 oh. Is she talking about the wishes of the people back in her time when, you know, you know they were, you know, using her as a scapegoat? Uh, yeah, you know, cast her. Uh, Before you didn't. Caster gracefully reaches out into empty space. Her hard work is about to be rewarded, but her expression is like that of a criminal about to be executed. Huh. Oh, what's new here, huh? Oh, there we go. Media. Don't know why I didn't give it to us, uh, give us that before. But look how look at look how ridiculous this is, okay? Master, caster, master, caster, master, caster. <laughs> like goddamn I saw many corpses. 
I died at that time. It was reborn. I don't have any regrets. My eyes lost hatred there. My hands lost anger there. My legs lost hope there. Myself lost itself there. Everything went away. It is not because I gave up that I believed nothing would save me. I just found out that it's natural. It's just that dying people will die and survivors will survive. I laid down on the rubble and stared at the burning field. I understood everything then. I thought I understood everything. But I still considered it. How wonderful it would be. If I was able to save everything here. That's what I admired. I just wished nobody would have to suffer. That's why I tried to become a superhero. It was simple and it seemed like an ideal existence. That was why I aimed for it. I knew where I had to be, but there were many ways to get there. I kept on running, wanting to get as close to it as possible, even though I did not know what was right or wrong. Many paths I took were crooked, and my destination was only getting farther away. I'm taking the long way. I've been repeating this for 10 years since I got saved by Kirisugu. But I won't regret it. I'm not as skillful as Tosika. I'll take the wrong path and lose a lot of things at times. But I cannot dis discard them as meaningless. I have to present meanings for everything I've trampled upon. And everything that cannot be returned. So I cannot lose. It can't be helped if I lose against someone else. But I can win against myself. I can always fight back against my mind that tells me to give up. That's all I swore upon. There's only one thing that I believed in, and wanted to believe in. That's right. Even if I'm walking down the wrong path, I will not regret believing in it. Oh, Shiro. But it's so bad for you. <sighs> I wake up from the light shining in. It's before six, uh, six o'clock. The sky I can see through the window is a clouded one. I get ready and leave my room. My body feels well, and there isn't that much pain from my wound. I shouldn't be a burden to Tosaka if, even if we end up fighting. Let's hope so. Uh, uh, yeah, n nice glasses, by the way. I'm ready, but... Tostika is transformed. Uh, Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, right, okay, moving on. Well, I guess it's alright if you say so. What kind of magic is it? It looks so wrong and yet so right. Uh huh. まだ人の手が入っていない広大な樹海よ。うん。長年人間の介入を拒んできただけあって、森は深くて広いわ。年に何人か何の準備もなしに踏み込んで遭難したって話知ってるでしょ。あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
とりあえず国道までは車を使うからタクシー代用意しといて。She starts walking with a big bag in her hand.、Mm. I follow her with the usual Shinai bag in mine. But Tosaka, money for the cab is fine, but does that mean we'll be walking back on the way home? <laughs> I mean, ideally, we'll shack up with. Well, not. Okay, that. No, that, that's a bad term to use here. We'll stay at Ilya's. I, you know, obviously, it doesn't go that way, but you know, just, you roll with me here, okay? You know, ideally, obviously, if things go well, we'll either die, or I guess that, that's if things go poorly. If things go poorly, we'll die, or if things go well, we'll just stay at the Einsburn Villa, and then when we go to attack Caster, I guess all of us will just ride on Berserker? I guess? Probably? We rode the taxi for an hour from the town. We drove on the highway, passed the many mountains, and reached the entrance of the forest. Of course, the forest doesn't have any paved roads. We finally reached the entrance to the forest after walking about a kilometer from the highway. I knew it wasn't going to be easy, but I get nervous、uh, once I actually face it. The forest is dark even though it's daytime. The tall branches block off the sunlight, and it's hard to see more than a few meters ahead, let alone to the end. Right, this is where we step on a. a, 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 a like a shocking alarm tra trap. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> I complain as I enter the forest. Then. I pull back my foot. I only felt the shock for an instant. It's not that strong, so it would hurt more if I hit my foot in the corner of a dresser. Well, in short, it was like static electricity. ね、I mean, maybe. 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 She waves her hand and steps into the forest. Then. I, I, I don't remember exactly what it was. Isn't it something like where it's like it's stronger for people with more magical energy? Or something like that. Tosca jumps back with a funny scream. I hear, I hear fire sing. I want to believe it's my imagination that she, th that the leaves under Tosca's feet are scorched. <laughs> I calmly analyze the situation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <sighs> But it doesn't seem like Tusk is listening to me. Uh... <laughs> Tusk yells into the empty sky. She's so angry that she might go to fight instead of talk. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. Well, anyway. It seems talking bad about Tosica is fatal no matter how far away you are from her. So I guess I'll refrain from doing so. Yeah. We walk in the forest. With only people in this vast place. I 
I don't hear any beasts. And the grasses are dead like corpses. The endless rows of trees make me think this forest goes on forever. Frick. Uh, okay. Oh. I actually... Okay. I have to go. Uh, I'll catch you guys later. I actually gotta hurry up, so, uh, yeah, later.